Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to paint to match front and rear Ford emblems and put in a front camera for a 360 camera mod. I want to give a shout out to M. Bullock for some great advice on how to paint chrome. If you need paint to match emblems, send him a personal message on the F-150 forum. His quality is second to none. I'm using a new emblem that has a cutout for the front camera and sprayer. When I painted to match the fender emblems, I ran the chrome parts to the media blaster. We'll be doing the same here too. Maroon pad works great for scuffing up textured parts to prep for primer. These cheap clamps from Walmart with some steel rod welded to them will work great for holding the parts during paint. Wipe everything down with wax and grease remover. I'll be using a rattle can of adhesion promoter and two coats of epoxy primer. I didn't get back to it for several days, so I scuffed up the primer with some 600 grit, then base coat and clear coat. I disassembled the front emblem from my original Chrome XLT grill for holding the parts during buffing and color sanding. Using some structural epoxy, glue everything back together.
Now let's get these installed. Let's start with the front one. Remove the small plastic push pins from the plastic cover. You can also remove the larger push pins at the front of the grill. This connects the shutter assembly and the grill together. Now remove the trim between the headlights and the bumper. With the grill split from the shutter assembly, install the new emblem, camera, and sprayer assembly. Move the ambient temperature sensor from the original wire harness to the replacement equipped with a camera connection. The longer hose tees into the wiper sprayers near the reservoir. We'll be finishing the front camera wiring later. For now, connect the wiring harness back up and the long hose from the reservoir to the short hose previously installed in the grill. Now let's turn the truck around, but first a cold start with the exhaust valves open.
squeeze the clips from inside the tailgate and with a plastic pry tool, gently remove the emblem. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell too. You can also follow me on Instagram at Stupid Fast Truck. Thanks for watching and have a great day.